Philly, Utah, Minnesota, and Denver. The Thunder return home for just one game before heading out on the West Coast, and we are underway. Thank you for being with us. Really good job of converting those turnovers into points on the other end. Speaking of the mid-range, mid-range maestro Kevin Durant very, very well in his return. He sprained his ankle in pregame in the game that he was going to play against the Thunder. That was in Phoenix. Dort steps behind the tape. That three right down the middle. Dort's got five early points here in the first quarter. Are always the most important minutes in a game. They set the tone. Giddy got around Chris Paul, but then he got met at the rim. So many weapons work for it. Now Giddy working for that turnaround, going to work on Paul. You hear coaches talk so much about getting on the fast break and trying to pick up the pace as Giddy's first free throw is off. You're not pulling the ball out of the basket every single possession. And here, here's why this is so important, particularly against the Suns team. Their defense has been really stingy. Gonna really battle it out with Indiana Friday night. Went small the majority of the game as Giddy, a little jab step, creates some space. Dort trying to tap it out. Boy, he has been all over the offensive blast lately. But Paris, I think you brought up a good point about this Phoenix defense. It's not only been good the last four games, it's been good all year. And how about Jalen Williams? Got the bone on the extra bounce. As Giddy also returning here early minutes of the second quarter. Wiggins on the drive, had to step on Paul, went for the scope. What a play. Aaron Wiggins off the deck. A pass. There he was, creating a shot for himself. And Durant straight away off the mark. There's a save, but it's right to Giddy. Giddy trying to set something up here on the offensive end. Once again, goes right at Chris Paul with the left hand too strong. The Thunder trying to find a little adhesion on the offensive end. Paul, another mid-range shot. It was on target, too strong. And no space once he got right near the restricted area. Giddy outside, three-point shot on the way, no good. Sarge, another offensive rebound. Giddy outside, three-point shot on the way, no good. Sarge, another offensive rebound. Giddy finds an open man, Jalen Williams. That one is good, straight away. Sarge wanted to come up and set that screen for Giddy. Now drives, he got forced out of the lane, went with that hook shot that he likes to go to. 1963 for a duo in the NBA in the first five games combined. This remarkable offense. Giddy outside, had a look, offensive rebound to Williams. Dort didn't settle for the three, instead wants to drive. Shea, nice pass inside of the backdoor cut from Giddy. Had a little bit of a rough postseason. Not exactly an outside shooter, but he can certainly take up a lot of space inside. He's got some skill. Paul picks up his fourth personal. Something to keep an eye on here. First 13 seconds of the third quarter. He tried to scoop it inside, but it will keep the basketball. J-Dub, hard drive, bounces off the 80. No, with a put back on. 37 on Friday night, leads the NBA in 30-point games. akogi has been really quiet and giddy. There's a miss by Durant. Dort drives, found Giddy open, got by Booker, floats it up, right it over DeAndre Ayton. There's the time from Josh Giddy inside the block. Using a quick pump fake and a nice floater. You get a quality look, and now the Thunder get a stop and get out on the break. That was a one-footed three-point running shot from Devin Booker, and now Giddy. Durant has not made a three, but a usual efficient night. Josh Giddy does make a three. Open on the wing. Collapse on Booker. Another turnover. The last seven in the Thunder. Giddy once again open. Dialing up another three. Oh, it took a peek. Doesn't matter what the deficit is. They're going to stay poised. They're going to stay composed. They've been in this situation multiple times, even against the Suns team. Back door. Giddy trying to contort with the reverse. And it's interesting when, when you're a point guard, you understand. Grant hears the showering of booze. Dayton pulls up. Not that time. If you're Jalen Williams, you're, you're not getting disgruntled when you go back and you watch that. No door, a naked three, just in front of the Thunder bench, and he rips the cards. Giddy takes the pass. Up top, it's Wiggins. He'll tee it up and drill the three. 
Durant and Paul again. They pass it to each other. Quick shot by Landry Shamit. Not that time on the three. He didn't have a hand up, but it looked like he had his chest right up on Durant on that shot. So another miss for KD. There's another cut by Wiggins. He'll spin, and the shot is good inside. The Suns do that to a T, coming out of that timeout, executing that play. As Giddy charges in, shoots it over the top of Aiden and banks it home until he touches the basketball. Game clock keep, keeps running. Shamit open. Oh, he's been flat on his threes all night. Tory Craig for Phoenix in the second half. Giddy finds an open man. It's Isaiah Joe, and he hits from three. Up. up top of Skinny. That one was short and wide. Booker, foul. He has had the biggest shots of the game. That's his third, fourth quarter three, and they have all been huge. Giddy back to the three of his own. Landed a couple of punches on the Suns, but too much from CP, too much from Durant. But the crowd here at Paycom Center certainly appreciating.